Hello everybody, my name is Matt Breslau, and I have decided to bring you a Let's Play, because I like Let's Playing, I've been watching them for years, and I've always wanted to do one. Hopefully this won't be so bad. I mean, how bad could it be? After all, it's Maui Mallard in... Warm Shoulders. Nope, Cold Shadow, that's the name of the game. I'm retarded. Nope, okay. Anyway, I love this game so much, so I'm I'm bringing it to you guys because... Okay, well, A, I haven't really seen any good Let's Plays of it so far. Um, so, I figure I'll do one. And uh, B, I really wanted to get into Let's Playing, and my friend Shane, who just recently started doing LPs under his uh, YouTube handle, which is Dangodile, D-A-N-G-O-D-I-L-E, if you want to check him out, He's doing a let's play of The Emperor's New Groove right now, and f I don't want to watch this crap. No, don't spoil the story. Don't spoil it. I'll spoil it when it comes up in actual context. God. No one can just fucking leave me alone. <laughs> anyway. My friend Shane decided to start doing LPs, and he kind of pressed me to start doing LPs, because I've been a big fan of... People like Chugga Conroy, Proton John, Josh Jepson, P. Cole, Super Genius, Nintendo Capri Sun. Nintendo Capri Sun's my all-time favorite, I just want everyone to know that. And many, many, many others for a long time. So, this is one of my most favorite games, I'm very comfortable with it, so I figure I'll start out with this. So let's go, and let's see how I'll do. It's my very first LP, so... Shaboom Shaboom, a powerful mojo idol, has protected this island for centuries. Tonight, the idol is missing. Last reported sighting, ellipsis. Level 1, Mojo Mansion. Is that a, was that a piranha or like a, eh, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, this game stars Donald Duck as Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow. This is him, isn't he cool? The sound effects when you move back and forth are even better, shoot that. So yeah, Maui, as I'll call him from now on, because that's his character, I mean, yeah. He has a gun. You ever imagine Donald shooting things? I mean, Maui? Fuck. Um, if you look up in the top right corner right there, that's my ammo. It always refills if you have this ammo setting on. Those are my lives. And my HP. HP is 150, obviously. And that's me. So, let's get started. B to jump. A to shoot. But I can't shoot right now for some reason. Because I'm outside. And, uh, there'll be more stuff to cover later, but I'll just say right now, Y and X don't do anything. In case you're wondering, no, I'm not playing this on a Super Nintendo. Even though I do own it on a Super Nintendo, I uh, am playing this on an emulator because I am too poor to afford actual recording equipment. I'm a middle-class American white boy. I'm poor. I'm just kidding. But that is a good story to tell to start off with. I actually just recently, uh, <laughs> lost my job. But, uh, <laughs> oh, dodge that like a motherfucker. Um, they said I had attendance issues, and as far as I'm concerned, no, I did not. Um, every absence I had, they excused. Because I had good reasons to be absent every time. I worked a full-time job, so I had sick days, and I was out sick twice. But I took the sick days, so I wouldn't lose pay, and it wouldn't go on my record as an absence. I also broke my glasses once on the job, and they sent me home. I didn't ask to be sent home. And they excused that. And then once, I uh, had already paid one of my friends $140 for both my lovely girlfriend, Brooke, and me to go to Six Flags. Um, great adventure. Yes, I live in New York on Long Island. I'll tell you that right now. I don't really give a shit if you know. What are you gonna do? Stalk me? I dare you. You don't want to be anywhere near me or my family. For good reasons. <laughs> so, yeah. And here's the end of level one. Bam! Anyway, we went to Six Flags and I had already paid $140 to go for both the tickets and the flash passes to make sure we wouldn't have to wait forever on the goddamn lines. You know? Also, I... It's worth mentioning what exactly those bugs are that I'm picking up. If you press R, you can switch ammunition types. This is your standard type that refills. This is, uh... Well, it splits into three shots when you shoot it. Bam. And this is kind of a homing attack for all you Sonic fans, because I am one myself. 
and bookcases that take you to other bookcases that take you to other areas. I hate this part. If you can see, this thing is shooting darts out at me. As long as you step on these, it'll move away from you. And you're supposed to use it as a platform in this section to get onto another ledge that you can't reach normally by, uh, your... Oh, damn it, it hit me with the fucking dart. But you're supposed to dodge those darts, because, uh, if you just stand there, it will shoot at you. Did, fucking bugs. Why can't Maui... I'm not gonna question it, never mind. Also, it's worth mentioning that there is a point to actually collecting all the items in this- Are you fucking kidding me? Collecting all the items in this game? Not all of them, necessarily, I mean... If you want 100% the game, you need to collect everything, but I'm not for the sake of this LP, because it's my very first and I'm not going to overextend myself. Maybe I'll come back and 100% it later. Um, I have 100% of this game. At least I believe I have when I was much younger. I wanted to get everything because I loved this game with a burning passion, but for the sake of this LP, I will not be doing this. However, it is still um, very, very recommended to collect as much as you can because that's how you get passwords in this game. Allow me to explain. The more items you collect, the more it goes towards a percentage at the end of a world. If you meet a certain requirement at the end of the world of how many items you've collected, it will allow you to um, access the bonus area. And if you complete the bonus area, you get the password to the next level. Now, I have save states, so I'll be using those regardless of whether or not I pass the... Um, the uh, bonus stages, but if you're playing this on a Super Nintendo, save states are not there. So you have to either pass the bonus level, or beat the game in one shot, or, you know, remember your passwords for ones that you've gotten if you haven't gotten any others. Because if you don't pass the bonus area, and it gives you like only like a minute or two to complete it, you will not get the password, which is retarded. But I still love this game very much, and I'm not going to complain, because I've beaten it a million times, and I've never needed passwords, because I usually beat it in one sitting. And I'm not going to do that here, because, to be completely honest, it's 1.42 in the morning right now where I am. Like I said, I live on Long Island in New York, so Eastern Standard Time, USA. And, uh, yeah. I'm probably not going to do this in one sitting. I am getting somewhat tired. That gold duck head that I just picked up is an extra life. By the way, just in case anyone's curious. Oh yeah, and there's a lot of darkness in this level. <laughs> That's not my actual laugh. What the hell kind of jump was that? I didn't even... Whatever. Whatever, I don't care. Dodge the pillars, they'll hurt your ass. And get in there. Yeah, boy. Stage four. Get ready. I don't want to. Ah, oh, crap, there's a piano. Oh, I mean an organ in the way. I'm a musician. I should know this. Yeah, I also make music in my spare time, but I'm not going to whore myself out, so I'm not going to mention anything. But, uh, I do enjoy it. But there's an organ in my way. What do I do? Well, I'll get that and this and kill this stupid butler because he's creeping the fuck out of me and get that. And I'll run this way and dodge that. Oh, I actually did dodge. I wanted to get that trophy. I mean that goblet. It was more like a goblet or a chalice. Get up there. Actually, can I go this way? I don't think I've ever gone this way. Yeah, I can. I've never gone this way before. Well, you learn something new every day. I'm guessing- I'm gonna guess that's a secret passage, so I'm not gonna take it. Or maybe this is? Let me try the other one first. Exploration. Yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. And it takes me here, which I believe is somewhere I would end up anyway if I had taken my typical path. It's not necessary to kill everything. You don't get any extra points or anything, but I just like to for the sake of doing it. And because jumping is a little bit delayed in this game when you're standing still, as you can see, there's like a little bit of a... Like, it feels a little bit like it's tense. But when you're doing a running jump, it's not tense at all. But the jump mechanics are very, very, very pinpoint accurate. If you press the button only a little bit, you'll only jump a little bit. It's really cool. And I know that happens for most games, but in this game, it's very accurate based on the amount of time that you press the button. I have a lag on this controller. I'm actually using a gamepad. So it's not to say that if I press the button a little bit, it'll actually jump just a little bit. 
more often than not it'll jump decently high because there is a lag so it the game registers it as though I'm pressing it a little bit more than I actually am but oh well these ghosts when I was a kid these ghosts always creep me out um, because I didn't know that they were ducks I thought they were and you're gonna kill me for this but I honestly for some reason they looked like badgers to me when I was a kid and I now realize like almost everything in this game is duck related because it's a fucking Disney game featuring Donald Duck what is it what else is it supposed to be so you know as far as I'm concerned I really don't know how to get that um, that ring right there because the second you touch this organ top you go flying upward to the next part of the level um, when I was a kid I did 100% this game as far as I can remember and I did get that I just don't remember how I did because if you try see if you try even with the tiniest jump you'll fly upward I don't remember how I got it I know that I did I might probably glitched it Bam. And that's the end of the level right there. I'm just gonna get these just to be sure because I do want to access the bonus stage and show you what it's like. And now we go on to stage five. Um, the amount of stages inside the world um, varies from world to world or level to level as the game likes to call the worlds. Um, and here's the boss of this world which is on stage five of this world. Um, it's a giant metal spider. So yeah, um, I should mention though, since I did read the uh, story at the beginning, Maui Mallard is an amateur detective who is looking for the powerful mojo idol Shaboom Shaboom. And this was its last reported sighting. You spend this entire game looking for an idol, which uh, is pretty cool. And as you see, I got 80% of the loot in the level, all the jewelry. In, in the world, I mean. Well, it is called the level by the game standards. And yeah, I only need 50%, so I get to go to Babaluau Baby, which is the bonus stage. And it's the same every time you get it. But it says bonus one because this is the first one that I'm accessing. Either that or it's or because it's the one that comes after the first level. I'm actually going to go this way. These stars, you don't need to press anything to bounce on them. They bounce you automatically. You just need to aim yourself with the D-pad. Now, the object of the bonus stage is... Uh, is a little bit convoluted because you wouldn't really expect this, especially since it doesn't explain what to do. And uh, I had to figure this out myself because I did not purchase this game when I was a kid with a manual. I got it used at, I think, Funko Land, if anybody else remembers Funko Land. So, for the most part, I'll explain it to the best of my ability. You have to land on the suns and the moons. Um, there are three on each side of the war of the uh, stage, and set off the rockets that are on them. When you set off all six, you get the password. If you run out of time, you get my ass word. And by my ass word, I mean nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. It shoves in your face the words password not attained in big orange block letters as if to suggest that you are mediocre at gaming. Password? What the fuck is that? You're not good enough to get that shit. And there it is, I actually got them all. So the time will stop, fade to black, and it'll give me my password. Six beautiful letters that I need in order to continue. QVR, BLP. That's right, folks. I speak English. That's how I pronounce the letters. And we're done for now, so I will see you in the next episode.